President Trump and Joe Biden are both in Iowa tomorrow, both with a sale to make to the voters there. For the president, it's his terror fight. For Biden, that he's still the front runner. The former vice president's appearance comes after his Democratic opponents. They spent the weekend in Iowa kind of pummeling him, although not by name, as basically too middle of the road. It also coincides with a new poll from CNN and the Des Moines Register. Biden is at 24 points, just eight points ahead of Sanders. Typically in national polls, Biden supporters in the 30s with a double-digit lead. Now, also, this poll was conducted before Biden's flip-flop on abortion and the Hyde Amendment. So with Iowa once again at the center of the political universe, our correspondent Randy Kay got together some voters there, three Republicans, three Democrats, and four independents to get their thoughts on the state of the race right now. How many of you, just raise your hand, are considering voting for Donald Trump? Four. And how many of you are considering voting for Joe Biden? For these 10 voters in Des Moines, Iowa, campaign season is already in full swing. Republican Frank Moran voted for Trump in 2016 and plans to again. The economy is booming. Where I, I just feel as though everything that I've been wanting to have done is being done. Heather, why do you like Donald Trump? He's working on border control, which I think is really important. This lifelong independent voter is also supporting Trump. I vote for somebody who's going to protect and defend the Constitution. And Cecil, as an independent, you're not considering voting Republican at all? Oh, no, no. Of the Democrats and independents in this group, only one is already sold on Joe Biden, despite his front-runner status. He can do a good job of bringing the country together. If we can move past rhetoric and we can uh, bring someone who's more respected worldwide, I think we can have a better country from that. I am not as big a fan of Joe Biden. Uh, I would probably say I support uh, Pete Buttigieg. Something that has really bothered me about Joe Biden is the way that he has responded to the allegations by women. Some men in the group are turned off by the same issue. I didn't like his, his idea that, okay, it's okay to just go up to a woman and smell her hair and say, oh, it's, I mean, who, come on, who does that? Republican voter Haley Ledford will be voting in her first presidential election and plans to support Trump for now. Would you ever consider not voting for Donald Trump given some of the things that he has said about women or his attitude towards women? Um, if there was a Republican candidate who represented my personal morals and beliefs, yeah, I would choose them over Donald Trump if they were a strong candidate. Many people realize they hired a... Uh a wealthy guy that's common to have a supermodel on his arm, that's his lifestyle. That's, in, that's actually irrelevant. It's about how they're going to defend our Constitution, defend our borders and our sovereignty, and tell us the truth, even if it's rough, laced with cuss words. We don't want the political correct message. We want the truth. We don't need the smoke blowing up our skirt. I, I don't know how you can possibly paint that broad a brush and just say not only are Republicans, but just Americans are pleased with who we have. As a woman, it is frustrating, depressing, and frightening to hear people just brush aside the misogynistic things that Donald Trump has done. She likes Pete Buttigieg. I think he's inspiring. He has a message that can... Um, restore the unity that we're looking for. I think as a veteran, too, he would um, he would represent us well um, across the world. This Democratic voter likes Elizabeth Warren. She's smart. She gets things done. I also like the fact that she's not a middle-aged white guy. While many in this group have a long way to go in deciding, those supporting Trump are dug in. Heather, does um, it bother you that the president lies? I think a little, yeah. I mean, yes, it does. But, but that um, doesn't make you want to vote for it him. It doesn't. Or it doesn't change my vote for him. And Randy joins me now. So did you get a sense of, of how locked in those uh, voters were to their candidates? Well, Anderson, the Trump supporters are certainly locked in. The others, um, not so much. There seems to be some wiggle room there. As far as Joe Biden goes, um, they want to hear more from him. They think that he's taking his front-runner status for granted. They don't think he's making enough of an effort to talk to them. Uh, one person said to me that he thinks that uh, Joe Biden is acting like he has it in the bag, and they don't like that. I also... Uh, they told me also that they, they want to hear more from him. They want him to explain the criticism that he faced from all of these women before they could even consider voting for him, they said. 
Uh, but uh, having said that, I did ask them, if Joe Biden is indeed the nominee, would you vote for him? And they said, absolutely, they would vote for whoever the Democratic nominee is. They just don't feel inspired by Joe Biden the way they some of them do by someone like uh, Pete Buttigieg. And they also feel Biden has some baggage, and they're not sure that he can take that all the way to beat Donald Trump. So they're looking for inspiration and hope, and they're just not getting it yet from Joe Biden, Anderson. Mm. All right, Randy Kane. Randy, thanks very much.